On Medical Mondays, meet Katrina, a woman who refused to let epilepsy rule her life. Epilepsy made everything hard. I hear things that I couldn't do. Whenever it got to the point that I could literally look and say, I've been on all of those medications and I'm still not stable. There's something more that I need to do. Katrina's seizures were affecting every part of her life. So at the age of 28, her research led her to UPMC. Well, I remember meeting Katrina for the first time in clinic, and she had been evaluated in another epilepsy program and was basically told that she was not a great candidate for epilepsy surgery. And this is someone who had seizures since the age of two, had been on a boatload of medications, and who was still having seizures. Epilepsy is a disorder where abnormal electrical connections in the brain disrupt the brain's function and cause seizures. The American Academy of Neurology recommends that patients who have failed just two medications be referred to a comprehensive epilepsy center. Dr. Richardson is great. He really is. He has a very gentle demeanor about him, a very great compassion for his patients. The first time I met him, he said, you haven't had a complete evaluation. There is a way we can do more here. We thought that there was a chance that she would be a surgical candidate, so we repeated her pre-surgical evaluation. There are few centers that can do that evaluation as well as we can do it here at UPMC. Katrina came in for implantation of electrodes on the brain. We were able to record seizures well enough to see where they were coming from. So Dr. Richardson was able to remove the abnormal part of her brain. Today, Katrina has been seizure free for more than two years. And she has become an advocate for other epilepsy patients through her blog. I called it enduring epilepsy because you don't just survive having epilepsy, you endure it. Whenever they say that, you know, UPMC really is life-changing medicine, that that's the truth. For more on adult epilepsy care, visit UPMC's HealthBeat blog at upmc.com slash healthbeat.